What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Zach and I make videos about photography, camera gear, amateur videography, and vlogs. So great to see everybody back and if it's your first time here, thank you so much for stopping by. In today's video, I wanna talk about how I've been getting more into real estate photography with my Nikon Z6 II. I'm finding in real estate photography that time is everything. Time, efficiency, workflow getting through the house so you can get onto the next one, so you can get your editing done quicker, so you can deliver the product faster. This camera has really helped me with that without any question. Today, I'm giving you a 10 things I love about the Nikon Z6 II for real estate photography. Let's get going. The first thing is Nikon's incredibly easy to use HDR bracketing with this camera. What I love about it, you can actually set the record button on the top of the camera as a shortcut for HDR. It, hold that down, you can change the number of frames and the exposure with the front and back dials. This is incredibly easy. You don't have to fumble through a menu every time you wanna to go to HDR and it gets the job done. Number two is the Nikon Z6II's user presets. You can actually set three separate presets on this camera and attach those to the mode dial on top. I basically shoot the same settings for every interior and I'm able to go in, set up my camera once, right? Set it exactly like I'm gonna need it for basically every shoot and then use those settings as a preset that I can easily recall. All you gotta do next time you're shooting real estate, turn the wheel and you're good to go. The number three thing I love about the Z6 II for real estate is actually pretty simple. It's just the top screen on there. Most of the time you're going to be on a tripod shooting about you know chest or stomach height and you wanna look down, you wanna make sure that your settings are correct, that your bracketing's good, that your exposure compensation is where it needs to be. The Z6 II has a really handy top screen that allows you to simply glance down and see that on the top of the camera rather than looking at the back LCD screen. The number four thing that I love about the Z6 II for real estate, uh, this is a big one, and this is SnapBridge. So the SnapBridge app gets you know a little bit of hate from time to time, but I actually particularly enjoy it, especially for shooting interiors of homes. Uh, you can actually set your smart device to be a Bluetooth shutter for the camera, right? This is great, and it's also a time saver, because if you watch any uh, videos about getting into real estate photography and how to do it, a lot of people will recommend that you set a self timer on the camera, put it on a tripod and trigger the shutter like that. That process is a lot faster if you're just using a remote release, which your phone can do through the SnapBridge app. Also with SnapBridge, you can set it up to automatically transfer images from the camera to your smartphone or your tablet or whatever smart device you're using. This is incredibly useful because you're able to review pictures basically right after you take them on a bigger screen and make sure everything looks exactly the way you want it to. Sometimes it's hard to catch a minute detail on a three inch LCD, but if you have you know, an 11 inch iPad or a big phone or something like that, it's much better. Number five, another simple one. This is the battery life. The Nikon Z6 battery, I believe it's the EN, EL15C is awesome, like great capacity battery. I'm able to shoot two houses on a day while running the auto transfer feature to my smartphone and still have some juice left over. Number six is this camera's awesome performance at ISO 400. So uh, when you're shooting HDR brackets, you know, one of those brackets has to expose for all the shadows to bring out the detail in that image. When you do that though, and you're at a super low ISO and you're at F8, which is what I usually shoot interiors with, sometimes, you know, the amount of time that the shutter has to be open to get that uh, exposure correct, it's like five to 10 seconds, which nobody wants to sit around and wait for. I like to shoot at ISO 400 because it speeds up the workflow. I don't have to wait for the shutter for days and days and days. And when you pull the images over to Lightroom at 400, they still look fantastic because of the dynamic range of this sensor. Number seven. So the number seven thing I love about the Z6 II actually isn't even the Z6 II itself. It is the lens that you can get for this camera for real estate, and that is the 14 to 30 F4S lens. This lens is fantastic. It's light, it's compact, it's sharp, it gives you great color, and it's also about half of what you would spend for the 14 to 28 2.8. 
For real estate, you don't really need that 2.8 to shoot the interiors uh, of a home because, you know, like you're just never down there. You want as much depth of field, as much detail as possible save the money, get one of these guys, and you're good to go. For the last three things that I love about the Z624 Real Estate, uh, I'm actually gonna focus more on the video side. So let's get going with number eight. So the number eight thing I love about the Z624 Real Estate is the awesome looking 1080 and 4K footage that comes out of this camera. It's very sharp. The focus and video for this camera also very good, very easy to use and it gets you just a very pleasant result. The number nine thing is this camera shoots 4K up to 60 frames per second or 1080 up to 120 frames per second. This is awesome for those real estate walkthroughs where you want that really buttery, smooth, slowed down footage, especially the 120, like that is, man, you can slow that down to like 20% in your editing software and really get a nice, clean, smooth image as you do your walkthroughs. And the number 10 thing I love about the Nikon Z6 II for real estate is actually the flat profile. I shoot the flat profile on both photo and video and it just looks so nice. You don't have to do a lot of editing to get the colors to really pop and what's great about shooting the same profile for photo and video is it allows you to pretty easily color match you know, your photos with your video color grade, right? It's gonna be a nice consistent product that you're able to deliver to your clients time and time again. Anyway, guys, that is all I have for you today. Hey, let me know in the comment section below, have you shot real estate photography before? What's your experience been like? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Is it awesome to make that little extra money on the side? I think so. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.